One of my favorite meals. Straight out of Narawahia, New Zealand. Here's Mario. Hello, Mario's daily vlog number 635, Corn on the Cob. Monday, January the 14th, 2019. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, 3.5. How's your day been? Mine's been fantastic. I've had a great day today and a huge variety of uh, things. So back, uh, this is sort of back to work today. More people are arriving. I just saw a tweet where they said, you know, <laughs> that the most standard conversation in New Zealand today would be, oh, how are you back? Is this your first day back? How are you been? <laughs> sort of thing, which was quite uh, quite um, amazing. So I got back, and my uh, good uh, work colleague R RJ was back today as well. So we had a bit of a catch up, and uh, went over to the to the base for well, we had a morning, we had a cup of tea, and uh, caught up um, with uh, Trudy, our manager, and um, yeah, had uh, caught up on a few things there, and then we. Um, did a bit of work and then went over to the base for a pita pit for lunch, which was uh, really nice to uh, have the opportunity to get out and about. Usually we um, just don't have the time because we've got students and things like that. So um, that went um, that went really well. I had a, a really good catch up and uh, get things moving forward. Now, so what I... I've been reading up a little bit, and um, I've decided I might like. I wanted to try and take take my lunch into work, which is something I haven't done for quite some time, um, because I'm mostly uh, on my sort of predominantly rice diet. So I thought I'll get a little, put some rice and a few bits and pieces. So I was starting to look around for a few bits and pieces, and so uh, one of the things that I thought I'd do is. Uh, I'd slow roast some tomatoes and I'd just put a few of them in each day with my rice and uh, I've looked up a few other things that I could do and I was looking at um, a few olives and bits and pieces and also I wanted to take one of my sauces, either maybe a satay sauce or a um, sweet, uh, sweet chilli, red chilli or something that I normally have. So... Uh, I was looking around with that, so I thought, oh, well, I'll go over to Countdown and get some uh, get some stuff. So I went over there and got in, and there there it was. Five for four dollars. Five whole cobs of corn for four dollars. Five cobs for four bucks. Oh, i got to be into that. Got to be into that. That's one of my favourite... Uh, Meals. And then I got my tomatoes and uh, I also got a pretty flash looking lunchbox that's got a few bits and pieces in it. So um, I might have to uh, do a bit of video on my lunchbox once I get things all organised or might, might be able to pop in a photo in the morning. That could be a big thing. So uh, and I got some tomatoes and some olives um, to go in. Uh, there and what have you. So um, yeah, I'm sort of getting it, getting that all together. So uh, I get home and well, I, I, my wife used to do the corn on the cob, um, just put the cob straight in the microwave. So I'd forgotten a little bit about it. So I looked up on YouTube and yeah, sure enough, you leave the 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 hairy bit uh, there and just cut the uh, well cut then and then put it in the microwave on high for about four minutes and then cut the the non-hairy end off and then just squeeze the hairy bit and it slides the corn out um, with no uh, silk and things like that like there's um well one of those is uh just how it's squeezed out so four minutes of that and uh my diet's sort of a little bit non-dairy in that but Corn on the cob, man, you've got to have butter on that. So a little slither of butter, just a very tiny, just for a taste, and some pepper and salt, and oh, wonderful. Bliss, bliss on a plate. 
So uh, that was that was good, and I've still got my tomatoes in in the oven. They're going in there for four hours at um, um, all around about 150 degrees, uh, something like that, 150, 160C, or um, yeah. And a little, they've got a little bit of uh, olive oil on them, just a smidgen, and some garlic. And uh, we'll see how those um, how those uh, turn out. And then we'll um, put that all together with some rice from yesterday, and uh, put that into my um, into my lunchbox. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's all it's all happening today. It's all happening today. Also on the um, on the weight front, on the diet front, I was in the 82. Um, I saw 82 kgs, 82 something. It's in the high side of there, but 82 kgs. So we're down, and I noticed that my pants kept falling down today. So I've had to um, put a couple of extra notches in my belt so I can keep my pants up. So this is good. So. Um, yeah, um, sort of uh, seems to be working. I've just got to keep an eye on it. This uh, sweet corn with the butter, I'm a bit worried that might um, push things up. But, you know, I've been eating a lot less. And uh, so I've been uh, losing weight, which is uh, funny that. Uh, funny that. But, uh, yeah, that all works. So, well, let's uh, bounce on to the diary. And here's the diary. So there's... Oh, and I... I got home tonight, and it's been a few spits and spats of rain, but um, my washing was dry, so I've taken that off the line, and that's all, all ready, so big plus there, that's awesome, um, from uh, yesterday, so we've got uh, got that all um, all good to go, so no uh, lawn mowing today, a bit dampish for that, and nothing out in the yard, 5080 steps, so over to the base, that's a few steps, so... Uh, I'm doing the free parking at the moment, so I'm walking a little bit in there, and uh, also then uh, around countdown as well. So five thousand steps. That's not. Uh, that's a big day there. And caught on the cob. We've got another question. Two four six in the where what who two four six, and it's gone. Very interesting uh, little one. That very interesting. Um, I never realised that Napoleon's Battle of Waterloo was that Waterloo is actually in Belgium. So, uh, yes, it is, apparently. Found that out today. So I uh, did a little bit of marking today and some emails and a bit of prep and got my washing done and a couple extra notches in my belt and I'm already on the second notch already. So um, that's all very good. So let's have a look at today's challenge. And here it is. Um, now, um, I'm hoping Works Hard might be able to uh, have a bit of a crack at this one. What year was the first Lion King film released? What year was the first Lion King film released? 1982, 1988, 1994 or 1999? Which one of those was when the first Lion King film was released? Now... Yesterday's one, which car maker was the slogan designed for driving pleasure? Well, it was BMW, and it played right into Moz's, uh, Moz's strong suit there as his motorbike that um, he rides and vlogs on as a BMW. So he um, put a link to a video that he'd done on his latest bike, the BMW, which was... Uh, very enlightening and very well done. So uh, thanks, Moz. And uh, I recommend that everyone pops across there and uh, has a look at Moz's video and his bike. And you can see why the car maker has the slogan designed for driving pleasure. Because certainly um, it would be a pleasure to drive that um, or ride that bike, bike uh, Moz. So that's, um, yeah, the end of a quite a... Uh, variety of things today and a well yeah steady day and uh got quite a few bits and pieces done so thanks everybody for watching my videos and for interacting in the uh, comments below the videos for liking and subscribing and 
well, all those things that you do in support of Where Mario's daily vlog. <laughs> it's got my wrong vlog there, wrong uh, video there. So thanks, everyone, and uh, hopefully, well, we'll see you tomorrow. All good. Cheers. See you. Smash that like button. This has been a Mario presentation from our studio in Narawahia, New Zealand.